Existential subqueries are queries that basically check whether something exists or not. Um, here, for the zillionth time, I've made the I've retrieved the customers who have ordered nothing from Northwind. Um, basically, this one's real simple. We get the list of people who have ordered something, and we find the customers who are not in that list. We could also use exists. Uh, so let me get rid of this. Where exists, or let's say not exists, select uh, customer ID from orders. Well, we could even say splat here. That's the nice thing about exists is it just says if a record is returned, then it returns true or false. It doesn't matter what is contained in that record. Within, we had to have a single column in here. With exists, we can, it doesn't really matter what we put here. It's it's arbitrary. Okay, where not exists, select splat splat from orders. Uh, where, let me just put an O out here, where O dot customer ID uh, is equal to, let's do C, C dot customer ID. Run that, and we get the same result, okay? The main difference between exists versus not in is exists still is correlated. Notice we have a correlation condition here. We have to run this subquery um, for each customer C. So in this case, it probably doesn't make sense to do what I'm doing, but... We have to run the subquery for each customer C, and then um, basically exists at short circuits. And basically, once it finds uh, a it finds a row, then it'll say, "Okay, well, there's at least one row, so it's true." Or in this case, we're doing a not exist. So since there is a row, it only has to find one row. It doesn't have to search through all the rows. It just has to find one that qualifies. And once it finds finds in this case. Uh, a row that has the customer ID equal to of uh, the customer's table equal to the customer ID of the orders table, then it'll take out and say, "Hey, no, nope, we're done. There's one that exists. We're we're done." So, so that's what's nice. That's one nice thing about exist is is it short circuits. It stops once it finds one row. Um, we don't need to worry about exactly what we're selecting. We're just looking for the existence of a record, not exactly what that record value is. And then we can also have correlation conditions here, C dot customer ID equals, equals uh, so right here, up here. Just to do one more example, I notice here the customers, and I've always been curious about this, each customer has an address in a city, in a country, and then the orders table, the orders table stores um, the ship address, and uh, ship city, and all that kind of stuff. So I wonder if uh, everybody always ships to the address stored in their in their customer record okay so let's let's, let's write a query and we can do this several ways but I'm gonna do it with existential subqueries I wanna write a query that will find find uh, somebody if they're if somebody exists that has not shipped to their address listed here in the database and let's just play around with that a little bit so I'm gonna say see where exists oops where yep exists uh, select splat from orders, and we can just get rid of this down here. Select splat from orders, even though I just typed it again. Um, where c dot customer ID equals uh, let's do o o dot customer ID, and and C dot country uh, not equal to O dot um, ship country. Okay, so I'm not going to test all the elements of uh, of the address. Let's just say, let's say maybe somebody has ordered something that they shipped to a different country than the country they live in. Let's execute this. Okay, no records. All right, so so I'm going to assume that all the countries are the same. Let's do uh, let's do city. And again, I'm just playing around here. If I was doing this in development, I'd have to test every element of the of the customer's address, but C dot city not equal to ship city. Run that. Oh, there we go. So it looks like Tar Thomas already has shipped to a different city than what he lives in. Now I could certainly join customers to orders and, and get the same result, but just for fun, I wanted to do it with an existential subquery.